All right. I got to record without sound because it stripped out my monetization possibilities because of the music. Um, ah, delicious. I wanted to talk about uh, 3D printing. I wanted to talk about coding in this one. This is kind of a hot mess um, as programming can be and as one who knows a few languages and has done... COBOL, Java, .NET, Oracle, PLSQL, uh, Object Script, JavaScript, HTML. I've, I've done a few things. <laughs> I've, I've done a few things. So this is really interesting. So you start with, and I'm just going to walk you through it because I got a lot going on. I'm going to wait another day. This This ran overnight, by the way. So my portal, my next prestige or new game plus, as we're going to call it. Um, I want to wait for this to go because I already reset this when it was system two, level two, level one. Coding's new. So I don't want to just like incrementally do it. I thought we'd double this. So when this hits plus four, I've got a ways to go on the science research. So I'm just going to let it run. And I'm in no hurry. Uh, this, this, this is, it gives me an opportunity to just stop and figure some of this stuff out. And the comments you guys have been leaving on these videos are really helpful. I have made some mistakes and that's going to happen from time to time. Let's scoot these over. I like to have my lines clear and visible so I can see where things are actually flowing and not behind. Like down here, this is behind. You can come down here. In the lower left, click your um, connection editor and then find one of the circles, drag it down a couple of spots. And now we've just moved that connection so we can see where it's actually going. So that being said, this stuff is a hot mess. So you start with a code interface and you only get one uh, down here in coding. If we scroll to the left, you get one code interface to start with and a bunch of and some tools. I've been unlocking stuff as we go. So you're going to connect uh, into some of these code characters, bools, integers and floats to start with. And from there, you, so you need to connect your code. Let's think of this as a person, right? You need to you need to connect your person coding this so that they have access to your characters, your bool value variables, uh, your integers and your floats. Okay. And so they're just going to be like, all right, we're, we're connected. We're, we're making, we're writing programs, doing things and it's fun. And then you need to run some of those into segmenters. <clears throat> yeah. You need to run them into segmenters. So this one's going to take, uh, where is it? A bool val value. And the segmenters let you split it off into two different outputs. So it's going to take one bool in and it's going to let you split that off into two other locations. So you're going to need a segmenter for your bools and you're going to need a segmenter for your integers right away. Okay. Because once you create variable containers, we can look. So in order to make a bit flag, we have to use a bool and an int. And you can click on some of these. <clears throat> some of these will tell you uh, if you click down here, there's variable combiners. Yeah, variable combiners. It tells you right here. And as you ex explore uh, or as you expand in the game, oops, what was code optimization? bug fix thought I saw something okay so we're looking at a variable combiner here so combines two separate primitive variables into an advanced variable so uh, in order to make a bit flag uh, we need a bool and an int and then you're gonna need another one that uses two floats together 
and that's going to make you a vector. Now, there's reasons why we're doing all of this. Let's scooch you over. Uh, yep. Of course, these are backwards. Let's let's line everything up. Did I not just? No, oh, I got to put the bit flag on top. That's fine. Because you need to have code optimization going, and code optimization uses a bit flag, which we're using down here, and a vector, which we're using down here. Okay, that's just code optimization. And bug fix needs just a straight integer and a bool. And that's why we have our segmenters so that we can build out our code optimization through the variables, combiners, and do bug fixes. It, like I said, it's a hot mess. It is a hot mess. <laughs> okay, and so code bug fix is going to go into a fix code. And you can just dump all of these things into a repository, which is basically just a folder where we can just dump a different uh, file types, code types into here. And then it's just one big folder and then we can pull out what we need from there. Okay. All right, let's get, that's no, no, fine. It's just, it's just a mess right now. Let's get this down here. I want this up. There we go. Let's put it on a corner just so we can see what's going on. So this is, that's your basic, basic, basic stuff. We have it coming into a code fix. And then we're, we're making application code. That's our output, right? So we've got optimization, optimi optimization code going into a repository. And then we have a uh, fix code, fi bug fix code going into our fix code. And then our application code is going straight into our repository. And then that can be sent, and this is a mess, application code goes into a optimize optimize code okay and we also need some application code where where are we getting this one with the checkbox i have to zoom out a little bit because we we got more going on up here once you unlock debug that's where you're gonna grab <laughs> your hot your application code and then your ones that are good and then your application code with bugs go into your code fix because you're you're making uh applications it's got a bug and we need to fix it so that we have a good check marked uh code and so that it's good so that's part of it the other part up here is variable uh variable combiners once you unlock arrays uh, you're going to need to make a string and a big int. And again, if you go over to your um, variable combiner and your guide, you, it should show you how to make uh, a string takes a character and a character, which we have up here in our variable combiner. And then our big int that we need takes int and int, integer, integer to make a big int. And then you're going to put both of those into a code application because it needs a string and a big int. And that's how you're going to make your application code. That application code, I run through the debug to make sure uh, you want to split that out so that you catch all of the good code. Let's put it in the middle. All the good code and the bad code. Okay. Okay. Let's actually move this over to here. And then we're going to move this back over to here and up <laughs> so we can see things. This needs to come up here. There we go. Now we can see the flows, the flows. So code application, we're going to write some code. Is it good? Is it bad? How do I, what do I do with those? We need to send those off to their processes. Well, the bad code, it's got a bug in it, needs to get fixed and then sent to the repository with a check mark. 
And then the good code that's that's good is going to go into the repository with the check mark. So we've got two coming in, right? One's coming from up top. And then one is coming from our fix code. It's all coming in. And then we can output that code because it's all good in one spot into our code optimize, optimize code. Right, it's going to come in, it's going to add an optimized flag onto that program. We're going to send that back into the repository. Let's fix that so it's a little bit higher. It's going to go back into the repository, and then we're going to take that code with the new flags and we're going to commit that code so that it is good and we're getting contribution points for it. What do contribution points do? You run that output contribution back into your code interface the higher the contribution the faster you're going to run stuff so you definitely want to upgrade this so that you can overall do things faster right i have this split off because i want to build this and create application points so that I can upgrade other things. If we come down here to in the lower right to our upgrades, we've got a new section here for application points in our programming. And with that, we can do all kinds of stuff. We can decompile programs into text. So if for some reason you need a, a ton of texts, um, you, can, you can decompile these programs that we're making, these applications, uh, into text. Uh, you can scrap games into videos. You can rip games into programs. Uh, I probably would use compiles text files into programs. Uh, so we know if we come back here and look at the very beginning where we started, we have a text downloader that we could take and convert those into programs. Oops, no, don't, don't swap my whole life. Swap those into programs and, and bring that back into this uh, coding section somehow. I haven't figured all this stuff out. I'm talking it out as I go. An incompressor enhances and compresses files simultaneously increasing its value by 2x and reducing its size by 2x. So this is for files. And we know that everything we're doing over here is squares. These are all files, right? It's a sound uh, downloader. It comes into a file, images. So that would replace the enhancers that you've got set up. And something else, what did it say? Go look. Oh, that could be right here. Compress files and enhancements. I don't really have compression going right now. But it would replace anywhere that you're using enhancing and compression. So that's a thought. So that is coding. It's a hot mess. Uh, it, it is what it is. So let's move that down. It, it is what it is. Now, what I'm going to do here is because I finally got it working, I'm going to select it all. I'm going to save all of that and I'm going to go into coding. Uh, I'm going to call this O2 because I already have one. And so now if I were to duplicate that, you go into your schematics, open that up, find your coding too. In fact, let's delete coding. Gimme. And if I were to add this, it's gonna duplicate that entire process minus the coding interface, because you can only have one right now, but it, it, it creates all of that stuff. There's a lot of connections you still need to fix, but it's fine. And then you can just delete that if you want to. So schematics, that's how you use schematics. How about that? I should do a whole other video on schematics because Discord 
seems like every five minutes somebody's asking schematics are broken you would think you would just click here like click the group and save that but that's not how it works because you didn't really save you didn't really highlight what you want to save um so you have to select all of the parts that you want to do that okay so that is coding that's a real quick video i just wanted to show uh how i have it set up again this may not be <laughs> the most efficient maximized flow i'm still learning this i just unlocked uh, arrays if we go up here into our uh programming i just unlocked where is it zoom in so you got coding and then you can do optimizations and then you can do debugging and then there's you get your bug fixes here's your applications to do that and then code optimization i don't know what this is drivers we don't have this yet well i don't have enough i don't have enough to do that yet so that's that one thing I want to talk about, uh, let's go back because these numbers up here look like a hot mess, right? Money 2.36E27. Uh, what, what does that mean? So in your settings, you can change your scientific notation or your amounts. If I check this back, now I've got 2.37AE. I, I don't know what AE means. I know what trillion is. T is trillion. B is billion. Um, and that's fine. But if I switch this back to scientific annotation, what this means, anyone correct me wrong in the comments, what this means is this is 239 with 27 zeros after it. That's what I'm guessing. Two with 14 zeros <laughs> oh you're not going to be able to see it so I, I had to switch uh so billion so if i had two i don't know you can you can play that i switched it to scientific annotations like this because discord people uh, have theirs all set up with and I wanted to be on par with them just so I could understand uh, better in the discussions that we're having uh, what that means but if you're more comfortable using just AE knock yourself out um, or you can use annotations like that everything else I've got muted <laughs> So anyway, um, but, but there you go. That's coding. That's how I have it so far. I still have some stuff to unlock. I don't know what the oh, drivers unlocks uh, access to hash maps and driver coding. So I think that's the last thing I need for coding. And we'll get there at some point. Uh, I also unlocked AI, artificial intelligence. I'll do another video about that. Um, but we'll get to it.